I am going to show you how to take a PDF and turn it into a digital version so that your students can use it in Google Slides and can manipulate it instead of having to write on paper. So the first thing you're going to need is some sort of PDF. I'm going to use just a two-page Arian perimeter worksheet that I created for this, but it can be any length. It's up to you. It can be saved on your desktop or in Google Drive or in Dropbox. I'm going to put it on my desktop just for ease of the tutorial. Next thing is we are going to go into Chrome and we are going to add an extension. To add an extension, you're going to come up here to the three dots at the top right hand corner and go down to More Tools and then you will see Extensions. Once you click on extensions, on this left hand side you'll see the three lines for the main menu. Click on that and go down to open Chrome Web Store. Once you are in the Web Store, you are going to search for small PDF. It should be this first option that looks like this. So small PDF is what we are going to use to turn our PDF into a JPEG format, which will come in handy so that students can actually manipulate it with ease. Right here in the blue it should say add to Chrome unless you already have the extension. So you would click on the add to Chrome button and it would add the icon up here at the top of your Chrome browser. Once you have that downloaded we are going to click up there and you'll notice that it has a handful of options. I want you to go to the one that says PDF to JPEG because we want to take our PDF version into a JPEG version. When you choose the file, you can choose it from your device, from your Dropbox, or from Google Drive. I have it right here, so I'm just going to click and drag it over, and it is going to upload my PDF. Like I mentioned, this one is only two pages, but if you have a lengthy PDF with 20 pages that you want them to kind of work through all of them eventually, then you could do that. So I'm going to do convert the entire page because I want all of the information on the page to be one single JPEG. And I'll choose that option. And once it processes, you'll see that it's ready to be downloaded. Down at the bottom, it'll have each individual page that you could download individually. Or you'll notice up at the top, it has to download all of it together. So I'm going to download it because I want both of those pages and then I will unzip that folder. So now here are my two JPEG pages of that PDF that I want to use. So that's shortcut number one. Shortcut number two, we're going to go back to our Google Drive and this is where you're actually going to create your digital assignment. So you'll go to new and down to Google Slides. Once you're in Google Slides, it's going to auto format to a widescreen view. So I like to delete everything on the page and then come up here to File and go down to Page Setup. We don't want a widescreen view, but instead we want to make this the size of a notebook paper or a printer paper, eight and a half by 11. So we'll change it to eight and a half by 11 inches and apply. So now you'll notice that our slide form is going to be the same size as my PDF or a piece of paper that I would typically give to a student. Now there's two ways to do this. You can click background and choose your image one by one, which if you have one or two pages, it wouldn't take very long. But the shortcut that I wanna show you is using an add-on. So you're going to come up here to add-ons and go to get add-ons and you're going to search for slide toolbox. Once you type in slides toolbox, you should see this icon and when you click on it, you can download that add-on. After it is downloaded and been added, then you can come back up here to add-ons and you will see that slides toolbox. Go over to open. A menu will pop up on the right hand side and we're going to go to import tools. 
It'll give you all different options that you can choose from, but we are going to create slides from images. This asks how many images you want to place on each slide. And so I personally want each slide to be like an individual worksheet or sheet that students are able to manipulate. So I'm gonna do a single image per slide. And then this is the really important part. You're gonna to want to set it as the page background. Then I am going to upload. Again, you can choose it from your drive or I can take it from those two files that I just had, exported and load them right in to upload. And what it is going to do is it's going to import these images and each one will be an individual slide that you'll notice can't be moved around. So the benefit of doing it that way is had I just copied one of these images over, then students would have been able to move it all around and it wasn't sticking in place. So we don't want that to happen. We want it where students cannot move it. So now all I have to do or if you're working with older students, have them add text boxes to type in your answer for each question. And if you were sending this to younger students, you could pre put boxes for them to know where or how they can type in. So then the student could just go right in and type their answer here. So hopefully those two shortcuts helped you to one, convert a PDF to a JPEG and two, to take all of those JPEGs and create them into individual background slides so you can create a digital product for your students to use with ease.